Hello YouTube, this is Naman. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be discussing voice meter banana. I'll be configuring it so that I could control all my audio devices on my PC. Also, I'll be hooking it up to my StreamYard so while I'm streaming live, I could control all my audio devices through voice meter. The version that I'm installing is Voice Meter 2.111. I'm using Windows 11 home version with a 64 bit. I'll provide a link below, but I'm going to assume that you know how to install it. But before you install it, please pay attention to step zero where I keep track of all my settings, audio settings, before I install Voice Meter. Step zero. I recommend that before you install the voice meter software like I did here, uh, that you check all your audio devices in the control panel of your operating system so that you will know what voice meter has changed. Even if you have installed the voice meter software like I have, uh, before you mess with any other settings, go ahead and check your audio settings on your device on your on your PC. So let's do that right now. I will go to this tray and right click on that speaker icon and you got two settings there I will choose sound settings yeah if we didn't install a voice mirror all this won't be here good my LG monitor has a speaker built into it uh, that's my favorite speaker in my system so that is set at default which is what I want that volume is fine for that on my microphone, I have this Yeti microphone as my default device, which is fine. It's set at max to max gain, so that's fine too. One more setting, more sound setting. This is where you could make a changes, so I will check that. Double check it. Here you go. It's all the playback devices are listed here. You notice that my speaker on LG monitor is a default device but you could only have one default device now for the recording uh, you, you could see that uh, my microphone in this uh, cam is active right there is a Logitech webcam and you see that it's actually, I'm actually talking to this thing and actually talking to that thing as well. If this is a built-in microphone on my laptop, if I go near it and speak, it, you'll see some green lights. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah. Now these are other uh, like a virtual devices. Let me go down to USB. Oh yeah. You see this one right here? You see there's some green light there? It's actually my USB headphone got this little microphone on the side hello yeah you see the green light right there so so I'm I have three means to put voice into the my desktop right now my default microphone is Yeti all right that's all good Keep that record somewhere, maybe in your head or in your paper. I recommend on paper. Uh, me, me, I have the record on my video. Anyway, so let's go to step one. Okay, step one. I'm going to change all these parameter setting. So please, uh, just keep the same. I will explain why I'm changing these. On this one, I'm gonna keep the A1. Change. On this one, keep the A1. Turn that one off. Uh, turn most of these off. Now I'm gonna choose my favorite speaker. Click A1, and all the speakers are listed. My favorite speaker is one that's in the LG monitor, so I'm gonna click that one. I could double check it by clicking on A1 again and you see that little triangle next to the LG monitor 
yeah so it's been verified now I'm going to choose my favorite microphone which is the 80 I go to this hardware input one and click on it you see the E80 right there I just click that and you will notice the signal coming through now reason why I didn't click on A1 right here let me go ahead and just demonstrate yeah that, that's the reason what's happening is uh, the hardware input on my microphone is feeding right back to my speaker on A1 so that feedback loop is causing that sound nasty sound so that's why I pre-chosen these settings because things like that could happen now optionally I will change this uh, hardware input to because the AD Now I could change these other two channels too, you know, inc and just assign it to these other microphone that I have, but I'm not going to do that for now. And this virtual inputs right here, this right here, this is a actually very important. I'm going to go ahead and uh, click on that and change that to desktop and explain to you why that. That's why I'm doing that. That's top. Okay. What's happening is all these B2 right here are channel and this desktop is a sound that's coming from like a media player and things like that. So all those are going into B2 and B2 is where we're feeding it to out to every other software like OBI software, StreamYard and so on. So that's all the desktop noise coming through or audio and then uh, you want all that noise also go to a speaker to a one so that's the setting so we're ready for step two okay step two what we're going to do is uh, make some changes in our windows control panel regarding audio devices go to tray again right click on the speaker icon go to sound settings Go all the way down, click on more sound settings, and this thing pops up. What you want to do is go to all the way down. Right now, the default uh, speaker, uh, default speaker is on my monitor, monitor speaker. Uh, what you want to do here is set this one right here as your default speaker okay so click on that and say set default good now go to recording device on this one you want to set that as your default device instead of your Yeti microphone. So I'm going to click on that and set default. I'm done. And say OK. Step 3. Now you check everything is working. As far as window is concerned. Window sound system is concerned. Go to menu here and uh, click on this option run on Windows startup because you want this voice meter to always run so that you don't constantly have to change your settings so have it run uh, another thing that is useful are these sometimes uh, you get a lot of feedbacks and some noise builds up and you get lousy static noises and stuff uh, simply restarting the audio engines seems to fix it so that's a that's like a uh, sometime when you reboot your computer to get some of the bugs out well the same thing here you could actually do it just for the voice meter so and it's uh, two options another thing is that uh, the speaker setting here 
that indicates the where you know like in the front in the back so I will set that up and optionally I'm gonna go ahead and set up all my other speakers because they seem to work fine I'm gonna set this speaker up right here click on that one and my second favorite speaker is one that's coming right out of my uh, webcam so I'm gonna just close this it's a webcam C920 I'm gonna close you see, notice that signal coming through now between this and this I like this one better so I'm going to go ahead and mute it and then oh, oops, oops, I'm going to right click on that and change that to C920 there you go on the third input I'm going to change that to that one's going to be my speakers this one right here I mean yes audio microphone not speaker better and as you as you can tell the signal is coming through I'm gonna go ahead and mute it and then I'm gonna change the name on this one as well to USB mic come on there you go so all that is set up. I'm going to go ahead and put that in the middle too. It's like what part of the room are you in to speak into these things? And I'm done as far as the uh, voice meter is concerned. Now let's go to StreamYard setup. All right. I'm going to assume you know how to set up most of the StreamYards. Uh, just a couple of settings that you need to make sure it happens is the microphone and speaker setup on StreamYard. So go to those settings and make sure that for the microphone, this particular uh, microphone is selected. It's not real microphone, it's a B2 microphone that we have selected through voice meter and everything will come through that. So that's very important. The next one, I believe, is for the speaker. You want to make sure that you get input BV, imp virtual input, right there. If those two are set up, and I think uh, actually StreamYard is going to automatically recognize them anyways, but just in case they don't, make sure that's set up and you're good to go. I will do a little live experiment, record that and bring it back here and then conclude the video. All right, I'm gonna do a quick test here of a TTS system that I built up. Here are all the things that I'm gonna have tested on this stream. Hopefully somebody can come on and verify if these things are working on their side. Otherwise, I'll just use recordings to uh, make finish up my tutorial video. Let me go ahead and do the last sentence. I am experimenting to see if my text is being set up to work with playback in either speaking and keyboard. Now I'm gonna do my touch photo. I know this will sound really loud, that's why I decreased the voice on that one. Let me go go to greetings. Here's greetings. If I click on that, greetings. Come on with the good morning America. Good morning Vietnam here. So let's do that one. Good morning Vietnam. Hello Chris. Thanks for coming by Chris. I'm testing the system here. Uh, if you give me some little feedback, I will appreciate it. Uh, as far as uh, if uh, it's too loud, too low. Like for instance, this text I'm playing, I'm gonna increase the volume here a little bit. And see if that comes through okay. Hello there. Hey, Giga. I'm conducting a test to see if I could do a live stream without ever speaking. Inspired by my friend Hopa and his struggle with his poor text to speech program called Any Text to Voice, I am experimenting to see if my text to speech setup could work for Hopa and other speech impaired people. So, are the sounds coming through, guys? Echo, there's echo, okay?
do I have my voice have an echo? Okay, let me uh, let me see if I could correct the echo. Sound like your mic is picking up what's coming. Oh, hold on, hold on. My mic is picking up, so I'm gonna do one direction on here. It is on one direction. I'm gonna reduce the gain on this one. And bring this away from the speaker. Yeah, yeah. I think that's what it's doing myself too. So I'm gonna go ahead and Hey, guys and gals, I am conducting a test to see if I could do a live stream without ever speaking. Inspired by my friend Popa's struggle, I am seeing if my text-to-speech setup could work for speech-impaired people. Has it improved? All right, I'll do that. I will do that. I'm going to switch to the headphone. Uh, I'm going to turn this one back on. Headphone on. Unmute it. Bring that up. I'm going to turn this off. Mute it. And then I'm going to change it in my hood to headphone right here. Hello, hello. Okay, let's do one more time. Hey, guys and gals. I am conducting a test to see if I could do a live stream without ever speaking. Inspired by my friend Popa's struggle, I am seeing if my text-to-speech setup could work for speech-impaired people. Is the sound coming through, guys? I hear it in my mic. Oh, okay, cool. That's working. So, so this is, how about this guys? Good morning, Vietnam. You heard that one? How about this? Can you hear that one? All right. Pretty good. It's pretty, 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 pretty good. good. All right. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so yeah, uh, my this is it. This is what I need to do. Okay, um, I just want to get a better one of these headphone thingies, but uh, everything seems to be working. Then uh, I'll do this portion uh, from this. I am experimenting to see if my text to speech setup could work for Popa and other speech impaired people. Yes, yes. Uh, I think I'm done testing. Uh oh, what's that? Loud and clear. All right, all right. This is gonna work. It's gonna work. All right, the system's gonna work. So, I, I'm happy. Thanks, guys. I'm gonna end the stream and I'm gonna make a video. I need to record this. I cannot make this too long. So th thanks for coming by. We'll see you at the CJ's channel.